Hello students, I'm going to discuss the quick solutions of All India Akash Test Series 2020 of test number 1 code C and D. Your test was held on 6th of October 2019 and I'll be dealing with the botany section. So the very first question in the botany section is question number 91. This says who first saw and described the living cell. This is important. Why? Because in this particular question you have to put attention that it is asked about the living cell. Because Robert Hooke also discovered the cell, but it was a cell from thin slice of cock. So it was a dead cell. Now about the Anton von Leeuwenhoek, he was the first scientist who first saw and described a living cell. So this is correct. What about the Shedden and the Schwann? They together formulated the cell theory. So option number 1, 2 and 3 are ruled out. Correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's move to the next question. Question number 92. The cell theory was modified and given a final shape by. As we just discussed that the Shredden and Chuan, they proposed the cell theory of course. What about the Robert Brown? Robert Brown discovered the nucleus. So these options are ruled out. What about the Rodolf Virko? Rodolf gave the final shape to the cell theory because Shredder and Schwann, they told us that all living organisms are made up of cells but they did not tell us that these cells come from. Rodolphe was the first scientist who told that these cells come from the pre-existing cell, modified the cell theory and given a final shape to the cell theory. So the correct option for the given question is option number two. You must have heard about the omnicellular e cellular. This means the cells arise from the pre-existing cells and this phrase was given by Rodolf. So let's move to the next question. Question number 93. See, the gas vacuoles are found in prokaryotic cells, not the eukaryotic. So plants and animal cells, these are eukaryotic cells. Hence, these two options are ruled out. Pla gas vacuoles, they provide buoyancy to the organisms. They are found in blue-green algae, the cyanobacteria, purple and the green sulfur bacteria. So, this option is also ruled out because in this option there is written which is only, so not only in the blue-green algae. Now, green photosynthetic bacteria, of course. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 4. Let's take up the next question. Question number 94. In mitosis, splitting of centromeres takes place during... In mitosis, there are four stages, prophase, metaphase, anaphase and the telophase. Prophase, it is the first phase in which there is condensation of chromatin material. So this option is ruled out. Metaphase, there is alignment of the chromosomes at the equator or the metaphasic plate. This option is also ruled out. Telophase, this is the end phase where the daughter chromosomes or the chromatids are present at the poles. So this option is also ruled out. In anaphase, there is a splitting of the centromere and the chromatids start moving towards the opposite poles. So the correct option for the given question is option number 3. Let's see the next question. Question number 95. Match the column 1 with the column 2 and choose the correct option. Here in the column 1, the features of some stages of the cell cycle are given and in the column 2 the stages of the cell cycle are given. So you have to match the items given in the column 1 to the items of the column 2. Double metaphasic plate. What is this double metaphasic plate? As the name indicates metaphasic plate this is something which is formed in the metaphase. Now in metaphase there is alignment of the chromosomes at the equator and this is called the metaphasic plate. In metaphase 1 two metaphasic plates are formed means the chromosomes are present at the two metaphasic plates because two metaphasic plates and in the metaphase two there is formation of a single metaphasic plate only now so double metaphasic plate goes to second so a matches with second hence option number two three and four are ruled out so this is very easy for you now because you have got the answer. B goes for 4. Long lasting diplotene. It is dictyotene. Yes. In primary oocytes of some vertebrates. The long lasting diplotene stage of prophase 1 is called dictyotene. So B goes for 
C matches with first appearance of chromosomes like a ball of wool. It is called the spireme stage. In prophase, when the chromosomes they appear like a ball of wool, this is called the spireme stage. So C matches with first and D with the third that there is reduction of chromosome number in the anaphase 1. Yes, it happens in the anaphase 1 that there is reduction of the chromosome number. Hence, meiosis 1 is called the reductional division and meiosis 2 is called the equational division because the reduction of the chromosome number takes place in the meiosis 1 itself, not in the meiosis 2. So, the correct option for the given question is option number 1. Let's move to the next question.